Oh, snap! What's up, my Cupid Trip? It's Coops, and welcome back to another episode of Oh, Snap! The show where we go ahead and play a new iOS game and check out what the hubbub is all about. Today we'll be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. This one just came out recently. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I've heard some pretty good stuff. I guess I gotta initiate Link. Whatever that is. Oh, this might take a while. <laughs> Three out of 267. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Finally, we can start the game. That only took like five minutes of downloading. It's like one that just best describes you. Always up for a duel, used to play the card game, never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh, remember it from the comic anime. Okay, to describe my history with Yu-Gi-Oh, I physically never played the card game. I didn't collect the cards. They came out around the same time as Pokemon cards, and I was much more into collecting Pokemon cards than I was into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, so I never did. However, I did play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul on the great Game Boy Advance. In fact, there's a Let's Play on my channel of it, and I enjoyed that game and played it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I guess I'll say I used to play the card game, even though that's not exactly true, but it's, it's close enough. <laughs> Yugi. When I defeat you, you will call me the king of games. Let's see if you have the cards to challenge me. Let's see. Kaiba. Kaiba. I cannot afford to lose. It's just a children's card game, but I cannot afford. It's like traditional character. Oh, man. The unselected character can be attained later on. Do we want to be Yami Yugi or Seto Kaiba? Obviously, we want to be Seto Kaiba. The douchebag himself. Actually, they're both kind of douchebags, but Seto Kaiba is where it's at. Actually, Yami Yugi is pretty, pretty cool, too. But I, I got a soft spot for Seto Kaiba. He's just, just bad. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is sick. Once and for all. Kaiba, I will defeat Beat you. Duel. Duel. Let's do it. Reduce your opponent's life points to zero. I can do that. It's my turn. Oh, I guess his first right. turn. I summon a monster in attack position. Oh, baby. What's it gonna be? My turn is done. Okay, Curtain of the Dark one, 600 attack. Let's go ahead and draw. draw. Mystic Horseman. Half man, half horse this monster is known for its extreme speed with 1300 attack and 1550 defense. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this thing and kick Iggy's ass. We'll put it in attack mode because it's actually pretty good. So. I just normal summon, yeah. Watch closely. Watch closely, you summon a monster in attack, attack position. position. Why does he need to watch closely? That's, that's what you do in this game. Only once per turn. That's right, Ken. Kaiba, stop cheating and breaking the rules. In the anime, they summon like three. And they just cheat all the time. Attack using the monster. This is the attack? This little circle over here? Oh, it's, it's the changing of the face. Now battle. I attack with a monster. Oh! Ugh. Ugh. Damage you inflict your opponent's life points equal to the amount your monster's attack exceeds your opponent's monster's attack. It's the basic of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you don't know what's going on, I guess I can kind of explain it, but it's it's giving a good enough attempt right here. So when they're both in attack position, whichever one has more attack or higher attack will defeat the one and the extra damage will go to their life points. If it's in defense mode and your attack is higher, you will defeat it, but you won't do any extra damage to the life points. However, if you attack and their defense is higher, you will damage your your own life points. So there is a purpose of, a, of a attack mode and defense mode. And now you have to end your turn. You can only I end my turn. you can battle after Here your turn, but you can only do it once. My turn. My turn. My turn is done. He didn't Get put ready. anything down. Normally not a good idea. Also, this is really weird. You normally have a deck of about five cards, but I think the beginner battle, they're just going at one at a time. <laughs> this seems scripted. I don't know about that. This legendary dragon is powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Blue eyes, the white dragon with 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. Now that seems really impressive, but remember defense is only applicable when you're in defense mode. When you're in attack mode, defense doesn't even matter. That stack could just as well be erased, essentially. This, the level number of stars in the card of the monster card you've drawn is five or higher, meaning that I can't just put it on the play, on the field. I gotta sacrifice a monster 
to summon this one. Summon monsters that are level five or higher. One or more monsters in the field have to be attributed, AKA killed off. Have been prepared for you. Ooh. Oh, so they're just gonna give me a freebie. Normally this wouldn't work out. Normally you'd have to summon another monster and then the turn after this one attempt to summon because the blue eyes white dragon takes two cards to tribute. Yeah, this one has two. A lot of other ones only have one. This guy actually has two, so we'll take off this one, or, or these two will be confirmed. It's like the second monster. So we're gonna throw those away. Up to this. I call on Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, oh, actual animation. Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's pretty sick, actually. Blue Eyes White Dragon has been successfully tribute summoned. Now I can attack with it, so we'll change our phase into battle. We will now battle. And this is 3,000 attack. Yugi only has 2,300 life points, and he's got no <laughs> monsters on his field, so he is finished unless he's got something in his, in his hand. White lightning. Oh, all right, Yugi. Y Yami, you, you just suck, dude. Just suck. Now you will call me the king of games. Get on your hands and knees and suck it. Yummy. <laughs> I win. What's happening to my game? It's crashing. Oh no, it's just going back to this screen. Dual demo complete. Preparing to access Verifying duel list. Is it actually loading something? Enter your player name. Let's try entering the correct one. Coops. And I'm not gonna read the very important notes. Duelist verified. That was easy. Didn't need my my blood or anything or my thumbprint. Accessing dual links. No network connection. That is not true. I am connected to the internet. Come on, game. Yes, see, I, come on. Welcome to Duel Links. This is Duel World, our VR realm within Duel Links. Thanks to our cutting edge online network. Yeah, cutting edge. They wouldn't let me load in even though I'm already logged in. Duels around the globe can gather here. Now the world, the universe of Duel Link can expand forever. Woo! Why don't you have to do a duel right now? Can I actually just walk around first or whatever? Wait, why do I look like such a little bitch in the screen? Mission one. Ooh, I can make... Wait, this is the exact same trail that falls around Super Paper Mario. I can't spin the camera. So even though it's a VR world, you can't really do much in it. Uh, Let's try mission... I actually don't know where to click. This? Let's duel! All right, Josh. Oh, good. I'm Okay, I'm still Kaiba. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this little kid, Josh. <gasps> You're Seto Kaiba, the CEO of Kaiba Corp. Dueling's creator showed up in person? <laughs> that is so awesome and terrifying. Don't piss your pants, little punk. Fire, water, lightning, level one. I, all right, let's just do it. I want to do another duel and see what this game's about. This duel can be skipped. No, no, no. We want to do it. I want to. I want to try one of these duels. I believe the appeal of this game, though, is that you can just log in and fight other people. You can just duel them whenever with with your deck. But for now, I just want to fight some of these other computers and see what the story is. If there's a little bit more here. Let's see if you have the cards to challenge. Why am I already summoning monsters? Here we go. Losing's never in the cards for me. You're looking at the future champion of the world. Duel. Shut the hell up, Josh. You spell a trap card. That was an objective one. It's my turn. All right, so let's draw. Ooh, a spell card. Inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent's life cards. These are one of the basic kind of cards that just does one straight thing. It's There's no 
mystery or whatever. It's just it just does damage. It's pretty basic. So I've got two cards in my deck, a trap card. Target face up monsters gains 500 attack to the end phase. So I could give that to my guy to boost his attack. I probably want to do that because that guy's got 1300 attack. Well, let me do that. No, I won't. I have to use my spell card. Inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent's life force. Activate the effect. I activate a spell. Oh, that's cheating. With spell card, final flames effect, you inflicted 600 points of damage because that's what it said it would do. Now let's try a trap card. You can start using trap cards during your turn, following the one in which you set them up. So we'll do a trap card now. Target face up monster gains 500 attack into the end phase. So we'll set that. I set a card face down. What it will do is it's going to fool that guy. He's going to see on the field that he's got 1300 and I have 1200, and it should be an easy victory where he would kill me and do 100 points of or 100 damage to my life points. But my trap card is going to obviously. <laughs> I've been a cluster. Jeez, I'm mad. So he obviously is going to attack. But then my trap card is going to activate. So I'm going to activate before he attacks. I guess I have to click on it. I only have one on the field. Is that going to be that guy? Confirm. So now he's going to have 1,700 attacks. So now when he attacks, it's a big mistake, and he'll end up killing himself on my guy. You, you were awesome. Who knew losing could be this much fun? That was so lame. Amateur. <laughs> Get out of my sight. He said of just shitting on the little kids in the park. Wow. That's why you picked Seto. <laughs> uh, Yugi, Yugi, at least when my experience from Eternal Duel, so now I don't know anything about meta or anything like that, but you always want to make sure you try and clear out back cards, spell cards, trap cards before you attack, or try to bait them out, throw off a card that can be killed off easily. There's a lot going on, but you really have to learn decks and what cards do, so it's uh, definitely got to play a lot. Character level 2. I received 10 gems. Don't know what those do. Next time I'll get a new card... I can't see what happens after that, apparently, so let's not worry about that. Quick victory. I get some rewards. One reward for every 1,000 points, eight max. Wow. So 3,200 points to me. Three ones. I get a bunch of four, whatever those are. Oh, gate keys. Yeah. Of course. Of course they're gate keys, stupid cubes. Why would you not, why would you not know that? Next, I'll explain your stage. Your stage ranks up as you complete stage missions. Let's check out stage missions. Should I just do one of those? Win one dual world duel. You just cleared a mission. Let's claim your reward. Receive 50 gems. Wow, that's a lot better than that 10 from before. And now I've gone up to stage two. Shop is now available. You can purchase card packs and items. Of course. Surprised that wasn't available instantly. As stage ranks up, new facilities and characters will become available. So if you play enough times, you'll get new things to do. The shop is now open. Let's go check it out. Oh, so now I can move around. Oh, what the hell? This is the weirdest way of moving around. Yeah, I, that's that's not walking around at all. That's, that's just super weird. The ultimate rising. Some kind of card pack? One pack, 50 gems. You can use the gems you just received to purchase a pack. I guess I have to. Let's do it. Let's do it. What am I going to get? Something good. Oh, get get out of here. Karibo. Dual links. Open up our pack. Oh, I, I like the actually ripping sound they had in Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist. Oh, that, that sound felt so good. You'd hear it rip open. So I got Insect Soldiers of the Sky. The attack of this card increases by a thousand points whenever it attacks a wind monster. So it's kind of a weak card, but situationally, if you find an enemy with a wind monster, you could actually do 2,000, which is pretty damn high. That's Yeah, that's actually pretty high for a three-star summon, but it's still probably not that good of a card in general. Parasitic Tiki. The attack and defense of this card are each equal to the number of tokens on the field. Probably not going to be good, but... Judgment of Anubis. Trap card. 
When your opponent activates a spell card that would destroy a spell trap card in the field, just discard one card and negate the activation. If you do it, destroy. Then you can destroy one face-up monster your opponent controls. If you do that, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster attack on the field. Woo! It's a lot of stuff. So essentially, when he activates, uh, activates a spell card, but it's, it's very specific. He has to act activate a spell card that would destroy my spell or trap card. I get to then throw away one card in my hand, assuming this is already on the field, which will negate that activation. And then I can destroy one monster on his side of the field and do damage to his life points. It seems it's good, but it's very situational. I suppose when, I suppose when you get it out there on the field and then he uses the spell card to maybe try and destroy this one, that would be the activation. So it actually has some pretty good uses. Three cards, that was it. Add the cards just obtained to a deck. You can access the edit deck function to the card studio's deck editor. Use the cards you obtain in the game to build your own unique deck. That's the fun part of Yu Gi Oh! is building your own deck. That's it for the tutorial. Probably work on ranking up your stage first. So, it wants you to rank up your stage, you'll get enough stuff, and then you build a deck, and then you go and lose to other people who are playing this game, I guess, is the, is the main thing. Listen up, duelist. You must have realized by now that you've arrived in the world of Duel Links. Duelists have come to test their skills next evolution of dueling. This is the perfect place to determine who's the real champion. Who will be the one? Who will rule over all? Who will wear the crown as the Duel World King? Duel World is divided into different stages. Reach the final stage and claim the throne. Defeat all who stand in the way of your dreams. Duelists, come to Duel World for your greatest challenge. Test yourself to the breaking point. Dare to become the Duel World King. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, throw one of those in there. Had to throw a ha ha ha! Good. Everything is proceeding as planned. These duels will serve me well, punks. Every battle, every duel they fight brings me one step closer to completing this world. As for you, Yuki, we will have our final duel in this world. You will fall against my trusted ally. The blue eyes, white dragon! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, Sato's got a blue eyes, white dragon fetish. If you haven't figured that out by now. Kaiba deck is now unlocked. So I guess that would be our starting deck. And then we can edit that. What the hell is going on? A bunch of stuff. Notifications, eh, I don't care. Login bonus, eh, don't care. Beginner duel support campaign. There's some kind of basic beginner stuff. I don't care. All right, there we go. And so obviously there's other characters to battle. There's one right there. You do the missions to, to uh, beat up more of the game. As for me though, that will be the end of this episode. I was just gonna try and show out, show what Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links was all about. I gotta say, it's a little rough around the edges. I don't have a new, I don't have a super new iPad, so maybe it's just lagging a little bit on my older iPad, but some of the animations are a little shoddy. However, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, it's good fun. It's, I, I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh card games, and so I could see myself sitting down playing a little bit more, especially because if you don't want to battle humans online, you could just work on the mission campaigns, which is what I would like to do anyways, battle random characters. But I don't know if I'm deeply involved enough in this game to want to play more. However, let me hear your guys' comments in the comment section below. I'd like to see what you all think of this one. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG.